Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico. And if you're new to the channel, we only ask one question one question here, which is do they write them and sing them like they used to? A lot of people, young and old, they think the old music is better, and I'm not so sure. And today, community poll winner. This suggestion was made by Cade Forever. Uh, it's actually a pretty tight poll, so we'll probably do the runner-up as well. Uh, but Cade Forever, thank you for this recommendation. He made it five months ago. Let me show you this. Crazy. I'm not always quick. But anyway, I got around to it, and it won the poll. Uh, but just by a narrow margin, uh, about 38% of the vote. So it was a good poll. Yeah, good poll. So this is Mother Mother, as you saw from the uh, thumbnail. Yeah, that's what they're called, thumbnails. <laughs> and anyway, they're, they're a Canadian band from uh, British Columbia off Vancouver Island. Uh, and this is a particular lineup. They've had a couple membership changes. So yeah, there's a brother and sister in the group. And so I just read up on them moments ago i just scanned the lyrics less than five minutes ago because sometimes i don't under understand that i'm doing an official video and if i do the video i don't get to read the lyrics plus i'm kind of busy watching the video too so i figure if i check them real fast before i hit record so let's get into it and waste no more time though do hit that like or subscribe button it really helps and I'll put my Patreon link below, too, if you want to support me there. All right, here we go. Looking forward to it. Nice and short, huh? 
Yeah, I like that. Uh, so what's my favorite thing about that is the instrumentation, the, the, the musicianship, the playing, the guitar stylings are, I think, pretty, I was going to say unique, but I'm sure, I'm sure they're borrowed from somewhere, but I cannot pinpoint uh, those guitar stylings at all. They sounded uh, fairly signature to me, so that's great. Bass was great. Bass was killer. Um, yeah, absolutely. And the drums. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely love the, the playing on this. And I found the guitar uh, licks to be unexpected. They just kept taking left turns that I did not expect. And that was delightful. Yeah, delightful. Um, what what do I think is not a plus about the song? Well, I think the singer's fine. You know, she's uh, that's the the sister, and Ryan does the writing. Uh, yeah, she's fine, uh, but it isn't. You know, I can't uh, chalk her up as one of the top singers I've heard. So she's good. Yeah, but I wouldn't say great. And you know, the lyrics are just they're kind of campy. They're about uh, a couple uh, doing it in the barn, and Papa comes out in his pajamas and wants to uh, shoot the boy, I guess. And uh, yeah, that you know, that's kind of a a bit of a cliche, but fun. Uh, yeah, so it sounds like I'm criticizing the song, but I'm not. I'm just saying that the the lyrics and the vocals would be the weakest part of the track, but. The composition, great, and the playing, fantastic. Yeah, I love the bass. Bass was awesome on here. So thank you, Cade Forever, for this. Uh, I enjoyed it. And I guess the best compliment I can pay on this, and sorry about the light, I know it keeps adjusting, but the the best compliment I can pay an artist is if I want to listen to more by them. And yeah, this... This has piqued my interest, and it makes me want to hear something else by them. Maybe Hayloft too, huh? So I read that this uh, didn't do too well on release, and 12 years later, it blew up on TikTok. Yeah, according to Wiki. Yeah, great song. So I'm going to give it an A-. minus. I liked it a lot. That's a good score. And thank you guys for voting. Keep on voting. We've got um, – but I think the second place is probably pretty clear. It's between – Kaleo and uh, from Iceland and Harry Styles. So if you're interested in going to the community poll and voting on that, yeah, have your vote. So as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia. <laughs>